Hi there, I'm Thomas, a product manager at Mabel. In this session, I'll show you how to create a JIRA ticket from a failed automated Mabel test. I'll also show you how to attach rich diagnostic information to the same ticket so your entire team has a single source of truth. Let's discuss some prerequisites. First, you'll need to have a Mabel account. Second, you'll need to have a JIRA software project. And lastly, you're going to need to have the Mabel app for JIRA Cloud installed and set up on your JIRA instance. Once you have those set up, let's begin. Now that you're in Mabel, you want to take a look at the output page of the test failure you're interested in. Mabel doesn't just report on these failures, but it also provides rich diagnostic data, such as screenshots and other detailed logs like Mabel's activity during the test step, the network logs and HAR file, as well as the DOM itself. This is all going to give you the context needed to quickly uncover the root cause of your failure. And in, the, in this example, we can verify that this is just a simple assertion failure. The text didn't appear as expected. It's now I'm new here rather than sign up, so the assertion actually failed. Since we verified this is a legitimate issue, let's go create a bug. We'll just select the issue type. And now in the new issue form, we'll give it a summary, a quick description, and choose the proper product category. Now we're going to send all that information to JIRA to create a new ticket from within Mabel. This is going to link the Mabel issue to the actual JIRA issue that we're now creating. With this, the HAR file, the DOM, the step trace, and the screenshot are all going to be here for anyone to view, and that's what you can see loading now. There's also going to be a link back to the test and test run that we created it from. So now this ticket is really a single source of truth for anyone on my team, regardless of whether or not they actually have access to Mabel since this all lives within JIRA and not Mabel. Now, let's imagine I'm the person who's responsible for addressing this issue. Can you use all this data, all this diagnostic information to get up to speed to start addressing the issue itself? But first, say I wanna actually verify that this is failing locally on my machine and not just within Mabel. So I can mark this as in progress. And now when I go down, I can go and I can click on the test and actually view that test within Mabel. Now, within the Mabel app, I can run this locally, get a quick output just to verify that, okay, the test is failing where I've expected it to fail. And in this example, we can see the output is actually failing on that assertion. So it is a legitimate issue. I'm able to reproduce it locally on my machine. And now I'll go in and I'll actually make these changes. And now, once I've made these changes, say I wanna verify that my changes now are actually going to pass to this test. So I'll kick off another run, I'll run it headlessly, just to get a quick, fast result without the browser doing anything right in front of me. And now this information is going to just load up and give me some info about my tests. Let's hope it passes and my changes work. Great, okay, so it looks my changes are passing. Now I can go back and I can move this to the PR stage. And since I've gone elsewhere and hooked up my actual CICD pipeline to this and to Mabel, I can run all of my additional tests on deployment on these builds to verify that everything's working as expected. And in the end, I can be confident that my changes aren't introducing any additional issues that may not have been caught by any of reviewers on my PR. So now that's all done. It's made it to prod and I'm just gonna move it to done. So now we can see how simple it is to turn a failing test to an actionable JIRA ticket with all that diagnostic information that is going to make it a single source of truth in one single place. And then we saw how easy it is to turn that Jira ticket into real changes into my app and resolve the issue for my users. Thanks for joining me on this session. Happy testing.